Okay, as you can see, I've gone ahead and cut through the foam um, using the box cutter and the square, same as we did before. Um, this piece is going to actually come out of here, and we're going to be replacing it with some thinner wood. Um, this should help the airflow better because if we would have left the foam on there, this would have caused a lot of turbulence. So we're going to replace that with the wood plate instead. That's going to take the same shape as the foam. And we'll be placing it in the same place as where the foam is here. Um, and the prop bay will still be open there. And we'll go ahead and put some of those diffusers onto the wood like I was talking about earlier. Um, we're, going to, we're ready now to go ahead and uh, start beveling the trailing edges. So that we can lay down the first layer of Henry's weave. So we're going to go ahead and save this piece of foam. Um, we're going to use it for measurements later to make the wood piece. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video and we're going to get started with the handheld hot wire. Before we can start beveling the trailing edge of the wing, um, we're going to have to draw out the lines that we're going to use to follow with the handheld hot wire. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is just take the straight edge and measure in one inch at this end and one inch at this end and go ahead and draw your line. Um, we're going to have to do this on both sides of the wing, the top and the bottom, because we're going to be beveling both sides of it. Um, on top of that we also need to put a center line down the thickness of the wing. Um, this is 15 millimeter uh, EPP, so you're going to need to come in seven and a half millimeters and draw a line down the center and do this on both sides. Once we have these lines, then we can go ahead and start cutting. Okay, we're ready to uh, bevel the trailing edges um, with the handheld hot wire. Um, basically, what you want to do is shim the wing up. Um, I used the scrap 15 millimeter pieces of uh, foam and weighted it down so it won't move on me. Um, you want to make sure that it's an even length all the way down from the edge of the table. Um, just check it real quick with a tape measure at the front and the back and they should be pretty much the same. You're going to have to adjust it for each side that you do. Um, basically you just want to make sure that when you put the hot, it, hot wire against the foam that it's going to cut about halfway down to the line on the thickness here and probably about a halfway in. Um, we're not going to cut all the way to the lines because we want to use some of the foam for shaping when we get done. We're going to use the, uh, the rasp and the sanding blocks to shape it. Um, we're mainly just going to use this to take off the main portion of the foam. All right, to turn on the handheld hot wire, basically we just flip this switch over till it makes contact on the back and once that happens uh, the power goes through the wire and heats it up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this first one and see how it goes. Um, on this table I was going to use the edge as a guide. Um, it's helpful if you have something that you can use to guide it. It'll make it slide a little bit smoother. Um, basically just take your time and try and make the cut as straight and even as you can. And here we go. And don't worry about making it too perfect because like I said, we're going to be doing some shaping afterwards with the rasp and the sanding blocks. This is basically just to get a rough cut. All right, when you're done, just flip the switch back over so it's not making contact and it turns it off. Um, you have to be careful where you set this down, make sure it doesn't short out against anything because it will turn it on as well. Um, afterwards, you just peel the foam piece off. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other edges and I'm gonna turn the video off and we'll be right back. As you can see, this handheld hot wire is a very good tool for putting a quick bevel on the trailing edge of this wing. Um, I will be doing a review on that coming up here pretty soon. Um, I think this is going to be a good spot to stop the video. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the camera and we'll be back again soon to continue the build.